Welcome back to a new round of the Slary Esports. Sent for again like yesterday. We had our champion of the third division already, Tio Mio. Congratulations to him, of course. It was a full lobby yesterday. On the second tier, it's a bit less busy. 14 drivers out there at the end of the season, but still uh, things to be settled. 15 drivers by now. Maybe uh, drivers were late today. So as you can see, we don't see any sunlight, it's harsh to have some sunlight on Zandvoort. It's a fun circuit with not many overtaking possibilities. It could, could be done on the first rate, on the pitch straight into Tarzan. Another uh, few examples is where Lupatik is driving right now through Marlboro corner, Renault corner. can switch it again. This corner Really good run. It's possible to play some wheel to wheel, but definitely not guaranteed. When overtaking, uh, technically can only be done by when drivers are making mistakes. Or like I said, on the pit straight. I think Lupati will make his first run. He's out uh, early to. Uh, to score a lap he scored his first pole position of course last week and because of uh, a penalty he lost uh, his podium place again he definitely did deserve a podium once so fifth place again for him last week but definitely it's going well and he has a good season there let's see what he can bring today he's on those medium tires Codemaster, sorry, soft tires, it's an enable on mediums. Codemaster still uh, bugging a little bit, didn't uh, show us the tires yet, but there it is. Guelphi also joined now, so 16 drivers out there already. It's uh, looking better. Luftik already into RDS, crazy asses. We'll set the first time today. If we can do two more corners. Now we have a light and die corner. And there it is with a 109 point. 199. Again, won't change. Stupid, stupid. Good masters. I hope it will be better next season. So there is Nabel on medium compounds as only driver for now, scoring a 109.3, that's I think a solid lap on those medium tires, Cal already dived under the 109s, it's 108.962, and then Martijn, new driver in the second division with a 109.5, seems like he's a, he's a driver for over here, and then Nick Evan with a 109.2. Still is the third place. Ryan Pat with a 110.4 helping out Cal today, his reserve driver there. And then it must be Tim Revenge, if I'm not missing him, there he is, with a 109.316 on the fourth place. Plankton. It's not him yet. It's his teammates diving into the into the pits. Jager fly also coming on P6 109.5. Uh, Haas is incoming. It must be Milo, I guess. No, it's not. It was Kalsta Swag starting his hot lap. Milo heading for Skyflock. Beautiful corner, the hard one. <laughs> Take it really fast. It was a moment he had to lift the throttle a bit. And then I think it's going to be Renault. More time, but going for a pit stop. So, who's next? Who's next? Only one Red Bull on track, and then it's going to be Plankton next. What can he do? He scored one race in Canada. Had a qualification session there, but he had to leave, unfortunately. 109.3 is his, uh, his first time on Sand Fort. And 
Tim and Kelsey Swag who had a uh, sorry Milo 109.926 taking over pole position and his teammate is incoming right now. But I wanted to say Kelsey Swag with his uh, best result in the lead last week. He finished fourth at qualification session, but because of a five place grid penalty for Kyle. He took the, the third place in qualification session, so that's definitely uh, his best result there. Guelphie, the Brazilian driver on P11. Moto Job also nice to see him back on track. Let's have a look on board with Matteo. A few weeks ago he joined the Renault team. A good driver for me too. By the way, I forgot to mention that uh, Ryan Pet is a new driver, of course. Like Milovok from Hungary. There he is. He scored a 109.7. This is his first celerity race. So let's see what he can do. He had a good driver test scored second tier with it so suitable for this division yeah, we were watching to Matteo of course he's in his hot lap Let's see what he can do P11 on mediums Three tenths slower than Nabel is doing on those tires. Can be faster, of course. And then uh, Billy taking third place there, just missed it. A 109 flat. down his lap let's just step aside a little bit for Jager in his, in his out lap so Nabel is going for a big improvement on still on those no it's on soft right now it's already uh, but uh, it's it looked like he's going uh, to steal the pole position if he can continue doing what he was doing because he was seven tenths quicker than his personal best comes around on a 108.6 maybe he can improve even more let's see there it is the first place 108.712 pole position for now two tenths quicker than Milo but the qualification session is not over yet it's still nine minutes on those on the clock Lupati is going for improvement. Can he dive under the 109s? No, is the answer. It's 109.1. Drivers are ridiculously close to each other. Nick Evan broke down his lap as he was invalid. It's unfortunate for him. Ooh, my time. With a spun, lost it somehow. Got some damage. <laughs> His wing is uh, totally damaged. Needs to replace it. Jager also making a pit stop in Venet as well. Tarzan for his second attempt to beat his personal best. It's 109.3 at the moment. Yeah. 
don't know what uh, what's up today every time the the menu is stuck so my apologies for it but it's uh, it's really annoying there Kyle took it over beautifully with the 108.6 I couldn't switch uh, fast enough for it and his teammate also uh, wanted to say crossing the finishing line but that's not true Mila is going to uh, do another attempt there and then Milo let's see if he can uh, do something there Plankton but broke down his lap, so I think he's going to try one more time again. Milo also wasn't happy with his lap, probably. So, for now, Kao on the on pole position. 62 thousandths of a second behind him is Nabel. Two tenths behind them, May, uh, May, Milo. Billy on almost four tenths, Luke the four and a half tenths, five tenths, Kalfster, six tenths, Nick, PA, Tim Revenge with a strange number 666, <laughs> 735. That's Plankton, Guelphie on tandem. So it, every driver is one tent uh, behind the driver in front of them. And then I think Modo Job didn't score a time yet, is going to score his first one, P10. Eight tenths removed from the leader. So everybody scored a time at this stage. And only Ryan Pat still above the one tenth. For other drivers, we are seeing 108s or 109s. Unfortunately, Milevok had an invalid lap. But he has time enough to do another lap so he can try again. Martijn is going for improvement and look at it, the 109 equal exactly the same time like, like Billy Rain. Also re ridiculously close to, uh, to Kalfa Swag. But uh, it's strange to see uh, equal similar timings there. And he also took it over while Billy had the, that 109.030 before him. Normally uh, the first driver who gets it will be the first. So. <laughs> yeah, strange. Guelphie had an improvement there, but he's still uh, on P12. Three thousandths of a second behind Modo. Otherwise, he uh, would uh, have still that place, at least one. Then it's Ryan Pat who just spun away as well. He did it in the Vona Vodafone corner. He probably stepped on the throttle too early there. Oversteer is the case, touching the walls as well, and his end play totally missing on his left side from his car. Jager, he had an uh, improvement but uh, broke down his lap for some reason, he didn't have an invalid lap. But maybe he wasn't happy with the, the way it was going. 
I think. He will try it again as he does not got time enough, I guess. It would be a hard thing to do, or maybe it's still... No, he's not, he's not doing it. But also not going for a hot lap uh, either. Maybe he wants to do a cool down lap and try one more time again. In my opinion... It's a bit too long on the soft tires. The newish is already... Uh, it's not on those tires anymore. They will not be that fast as they are, the, as they are new. So who can steal the pole position from Cal? Is Nabal capable of doing it? Or is Milo? Or is Plankton maybe even on P4 there? If he has time enough to go out, he goes out right now. So I think he just makes it in time. He needs to do a, a fast lap. But definitely uh, he will be fast enough probably. Guelphie for him, it's over. Don't have time enough to do another one. But P9, so... From P12 until P9 at the moment. That's alright. And uh, it's only uh, that's a half second slower than Cal was doing. So Matteo is going to try to do it on mediums in the end. All the way in the end. And then Tim Revenge going for his last lap. Who's going to be first? Is it Milo? No, it's not Milo. He's going to do one try. It's Billy Ruain, of course. The third place, 10 thousandths of a second slower than Nabel. Then we have Lupetik in his outlap, yes it is. Nick Evan into the pits, over for him. Kyle will start another lap. And then it's uh, Kyle's to swear, no it's Milo. <laughs> Sometimes uh, mixing those drives up. I did see uh, McLaren driving there without a front wing, so it must be or Jager or Tim Revenge, but don't miss out on Nabel. Yeah, he did it. Oh, that's a good time. A 108.4. The record is still in the hands of Ivo Rowan from the first division. Ah, oh, Matteo. I thought he was on mediums. It was, that was his best result, of course. So now he's on soft with a 108.8. Moda Jobs still incoming over the finishing line. P11, back on P11 where he was before, and then Milo or Kalsweg, the teammate of Milo, out qualified Milo there, but Milo still on track. Lupetik P6. And Kyle again. <laughs> Three thousandths of a second quicker than Nabel. That's a steal for pole position. Uh, Nabel will not be happy with that one. It's really ridiculously close. But uh, a very good improvement, uh, I would say. And then Milo, maybe he still can do something about it. No, he can't because he is invalid, unfortunately. Plankton also heading uh, for the pits. And then there are not much drivers left. Matteo did his job. Nabel did his job. Jager invalid, unfortunately. Milavok already finished. And I think uh, it's settled. And then we have Kyle with another poor position. It's his 8th pole position already for Focal. Didn't convert many into wins as he has got only one win on his name. So he's more like an, uh, a qualifying beast than over uh, an endurance racer because 50% it's, it's 45 minutes the average for a race. 
But yeah, look how close with a 108.455, followed by Nabel, three thousandths of a second slower than uh, than Cal. But it's his eighth pole position there. Let's see if he can uh, convert it into a win today. Then someday it needs to be your day. Definitely. But an incredible time uh, scored there by the, by the drivers. Every uh, driver did so, except for Ryan Petty, who was still a discord time, but uh, above the 109s, 110.4. In this first race. What do you guys think? Will it stay uh, dry this session, this race? We will start on dry tires like yesterday as well. We didn't have any rain yesterday. Much clouds indeed, but no rain. So let's see what it will be today. I thought that Billy uh, complained a bit about sunlight in a couple of corners, but that will not be the case today. <laughs> so those clouds are in the sky. We won't have any sunlight on track. So uh, drivers will not be blinded. And of course we are driving with the official time set. And everybody has the same, it's not that uh, a few drivers are driving in, in the night or uh, such things, so it's equal for everybody, like the, the performance of the cars, the weather is the same, dynamic always in this league, and official time set. Alright, we are still waiting for Nabel, press ready and then we can start at this formation lap, drivers will warm up their tires. I'm getting ready for the 14th race already. However, I do have to say that this division still needs to do Mexico. The third division completed it and only has two races in front of them. But the second division still, uh, still needs to race on Mexico as well. So for them, after this race, there are still three more races to go. Mexico all the way in the end. That's why the championship battle was not super spectacular yet. We know that Billy Rain is in the lead. Let's take some short uh, standings, by the way. But first, some tire strategy. Jager Fly on uh, medium tires, like Tim Revenge's teammate. Also, Mila Falk will do the same. Nick Evan has only driver on hearts. And sur surprising uh, to see that Ryan Pat chosen the softs at P16. Well. If you want to make that, uh, if you want to make something positive, positive out of that, then yeah, you need to uh, gain a few places at the beginning of the race, and it's not so hard, so so easy on this track. It can be very hard to do it. <laughs> Yesterday, the third division was a perfect example of it. We uh, had plenty, uh, plenty overtaking action. But also uh, a little bit chaotic, a hectic race there. We're not always used to uh, seeing this in the third division. But yes, every uh, every league has a, a race that doesn't go so well. Sometimes, still, it was very satisfying to watch it for the viewers and us as well. And of course, Tio Mio, who became the next champion, he took it over from Sneaky Tom. Who was the birthday boy yesterday as well. And there we are. On the grid again. Forming up. Two racing points behind each other. As Twan is absent today. Plankton will replace him. And I think we are ready. Because my lights are turning red for the 14th race. Technically the 13th race in Sveri. But the drivers are ready for Sanford today. My lights are out. And it seems like Ryan Pat lost his connection. 
Really unfortunate to see that he's, I don't pay attention to him anymore, but the race is on. Neymar with a good start, taking over from Cal into Tarzan already. Everybody seems to go well, but a Ferrari went a bit wide. It's Moda, oh, and also a Haas now. It's Kelsey Swag spinning away. To the union holds, happen. And Lupetik also uh, with damage there, unfortunate for him. I think it's Plankton. To RDS. A hard corner. Especially if you want to do that one wheel to wheel. So I guess we will see a pit stop for at, at least Lupati. That's a definitely uh, saw some damage over there. Pat has got multiple invites so he can rejoin it and otherwise he needs to improve his connection because that uh, cannot happen uh, that often. It's very bothering to have an EI on track. It's another perfect start for Moda who went in the sandbox into Tarzan corner but no damage there and also for I think no it's Kelsey Swag and Lupatik with damage. Mila Fox still chasing from all the way behind. Plankton on that was an overtake, but it wasn't just uh, the eye from Ryan Pat falling back. A big dive. We saw a gap there. We could not get past Kyle. We touched each other a little bit. Not really spectacular, but uh, it definitely was a dive from Billy. But without success. It's a long way to go because it's still 34 laps to go, so everything can happen. We did have a safety car yesterday, I guess. But yeah, we had a safety car definitely. So at that point, everything can change, of course. So for Lupe Tikin Kalsen Swag, yeah, just climb up and pick up your pace and do your best and uh, pray for a, <laughs> for a safety car if you are at that point. Nibble with the fast slap, 112, 165. Bit of understeer for Plankton there. Ooh, this is uh, unfortunate for Moda, but definitely his own fault. He lost his end plate by, uh, yeah. Missing his breaking point and uh, hitting Tim Friends from behind. These are medium tires, so if you want to get past that on those soft tires, you definitely uh, need to aim for it and uh, make a good move. So uh, we will see uh, Pistol from Moda probably as well. now through RDS Millefolk pass motor was well of course that's got damage 
So will he make a pit stop? I think it, yeah, it would be a very smart thing to do it. There are some fights with uh, with Lupatik and Kelsey's record at point up. Switching for mediums, that is surprising. So he will need to do another pit stop there. Also, I think he had, has got a penalty or something because uh, drivers were waiting for a long time. Oh, sorry, just the, the wing. Because uh, if the penalty is uh, encountered, drivers uh, will change tires after it and not before it. So. Nick Evan on those hearts, that's not so bad, I would say. Still uh, competing with those drivers on mediums and only needs to uh, dot one driver in front of him. He's really splitting up the, this McLaren. Nice, uh, nice images to watch as well. And there it is now, I think Billy and Cal, yeah, he did it. Overtaking Cal. Can Cal do something back? Maybe on the DRS straight. Oh, he went wide. To Renault. And I think he lost it over there. And now he needs to be careful for Matteo chasing him down. This straight is very hard to overtake as it's a short straight. see those DRS trains form up At some point those tires will change the fact definitely uh, those medium tires are an advantage at the beginning stage but then I would say in uh, five or six laps those hard tires will kick in and they will feel very nice for, for quite a few laps and you can really uh, pick up some pace with it and yeah, we did see yesterday between Tio and Mickey Rivers they had different strategies Tio went for mediums and Nicky uh, on the hearts and because of a late uh, safety car they both switched to a new set of medium tires but it looked like Nicky Rizzos was a bit in the advantage of those tires he had some traffic uh, in front of him he pitted earlier to do an undercut traffic made it hard to overtake Theo but it looked like he was a little bit a tweaky faster First, I uh, would say on Sandford you have to do the soft medium strategy, it will be faster, but I'm not sure about it anymore, as we did uh, mention yesterday. So, the rest train from Billy until Martijn. Still inside of the DRS range. I think he will have it. 
Uh, Nabel is loose. He's definitely loose. Two seconds in front of Billy Wren. I think he had some practice here or he definitely enjoys Sanford to the race over in Holland. Still can see him traffic away from them through RDS. Oh, that's a move speed closing in the gap again. already mentioned it yesterday, I love to see drivers taking the Hugen Holtz happen on a different way. Something happened over here I guess. Is it Tim? Oh Tim, again, Tim Revenge spun away. Then he lost out on the, on the battle now between Jager and Nick, Evan, Mila, Falk over two kitters of course. They need to carry on. I think the boys up front uh, are having a good race. Except for those drivers who had uh, something wrong there. Oh, are they going to do it? I thought they were doing it side to side. Nick Evan definitely wanted to do it there. Well, maybe he can do it now. Jager does not got any DRS there. And Nick Evan also got plenty of overtake power. This will be it, on the main straight, Jacob Fly defended the inside, and a job done by Nick Evan, oh no it's not, Jager like a Ricciardo, break really deep, still wheel to wheel, oh crazy, it was an epic duel between these gentlemen, lovely to see it, a brilliant move by Nick Evan at first and then that breaking skills from Jager Fly definitely uh, credits for that one. A good race between the gentlemen. With a good exit into the young Sir Ari Light and Die corner, all, all those drivers are making a pit stop now. Oh, is it damage for Kyle? Yes, it is damage for Kyle. He break too late, hitting Billy from behind. So, this is uh, yeah, a few seconds extra, about let us say five, six seconds maybe. And I think he lost the place definitely to Matteo now. Rejoining the track on the 10th place. Oh, that's an unfortunate one. Definitely in a good battle uh, between him, Billy and Matteo. Plankton has got some serious pace, but it is raw pace at the moment. Because he uh, still needs to learn a thing or two about ERS management. After uh, one third of the race, his ERS uh, power is already it's gone, and he doesn't got much to harvest because of it. And he's using it while he has none. Yeah, every driver makes these mistakes uh, sometimes when they still need to learn it. I had the same. You can be stubborn, <laughs> and then suddenly you will see. Uh, the point why you should save your ERS because it makes you faster per lap. 
Wealthy pitting after 13 laps for those hard tyres as well. Will Kyle take him over as well? I think he will not. So even Guelfi still in front of him. Yeah, because of those, uh, the wing replace for Focal. Now has got some temperature in those tires already. That's not the case for Guelfi. And Nabel still going on. We did see this happen yesterday with Theo as well and then at lap 13 he had some struggles on the soft so will he respond will he uh, make a pit stop this lap or will he still continue and try definitely to do uh, the soft medium strategy today and I think he will boys 13 laps driven on those softs and I don't see any struggle yet he did his homework But there's a yellow flag now into the. It's still in. It's in the third sector actually. I don't see any driver standing still. That's Cal. Didn't finish again. He definitely needs to train on his endurance. I don't know. I probably spun away or something. So every time taking pole and not uh, able to complete the race. Will there be some response at the moment? First back to... It was Miller there. I think he had a, a moment there or something. Yeah, there it is. Nabel into the pits now. And he will take those mediums. He's not doing it. Hard tires. Well, maybe at this point you should go for mediums. It's possible then to drive it home. But chosen the, the hard tires. But look at this. the provisional lead and Billy behind him on 1.8 seconds so yeah they did close the gap a little bit but Mabel was on the freshest tires of the mall and uh, if he is not making any mistakes he can drive at home today there I think it will be for warnings it's not for warnings so it must be speeding in the uh, pit lane and in that case Kyle definitely went on his brakes way too late because if Billy already entered the pit too fast you could imagine what happened behind him be a bummer for him for scoring a uh, podium there in the meantime let's take some rankings because it's a big rank still one uh, in the lead with 172 points Followed by Nabel and 117 points, so Nabel is doing some good business maybe today. Fastest lap squad by Plankton, 12 something, I didn't see it 
totally. And this will continue to fly also uh, changing the tires to, to the harder compound in the pits. Passed by Mark Tang, but Milevok is not passed there. Still some the, I think the hidden holds happen. third place on 116 points so that's only one point less than Nebo is Milo Milo on this uh, sixth place there you can also do some uh, some good things today and then we have Wetress who's absent today he's on 79 so there's quite quite a quite a gap and Cal on 75 and much for any points from, uh, from Mercedes as well today so uh, not so good weeks for Mercedes lately. I hope they uh, can change those facts very, very soon. So today a little less overtaking actions than yesterday, but that's that's quite normal. That's really how it should be on this track. Plankton improved again. You now it's a 112 flat. Of course the pace is a bit higher in this division than in the third division. It was also very busy, 20 drivers, full lobby yesterday. I think that if Plankton is capable of managing the ERS system better than he's doing today, he definitely could maybe challenge Nabel at least. Constructed championship standings, 205 points for Ferrari. This is also Billy Rain and Moto Job, so they are in the lead for constructed championships at the moment. But really close behind them is Haas of one team. This is Kausas Wack and Milo on 190 points, followed by Mercedes on 172 points. So Mercedes is still still up for uh, for a good result in a constructed championship there. Racing point on 160 points and Williams on 146 points. So this is a top five. That's still really close. And even even Williams on the on, on the fifth place technically could win this constructed championship as well. So still excited until the end probably. Before Taz and Corner. These are very old hard tires. 20 laps driven on them. Yeah.
Yes, he needs to do a few more. He started on hearts, of course. And we need about one, uh, two or three laps more to go for softs. Otherwise, uh, medium would, would be a better call, but I think he will do the softs later. Oh, no, not the other McLaren as well. This is spun. No damage for Jager, but a spun it was. Come on, McLaren boys. The ERS he needed to hold to take Minifok together with the DRS. To try to save it, stay behind him in this slipstream and do it again on the on the next lap. It, it's looking solid. It's, he's not the fastest today. But definitely a solid race so far. And maybe also his first points today. Also, Billy decided to take over Nick Evan. Plank Plankton will be next. Five lots, uh, wheel to wheel. Do you want to do it? Oh, <laughs> that's very dangerous to do it, boys. <laughs> that could up, end up in tears very quickly. <laughs> but I love the way he tried it. Yeah, of course, he wants to battle with Billy there. <laughs> but some good racing by Nick Evan as well. And he is allowed to do this because he's on third place. No matter what tires you got, don't want you. You don't want yourself uh, to get passed by other drivers uh, too quickly. And now he's making that pit stop that is necessary. Bidding for softs, and let's see where he drops out. Will Milavok overtake him? I think he will, yes. And also Martijn. Oh, this will be excited. He's spitting in the mud. <laughs> but on these soft tires, it's also... Uh, yeah, this he has got some traction in him. So, let's see what he will do. He's on the ninth place and he can climb a few places there. In that last third... 13 laps he got. If you've got a good run over here, it's possible as well. If two chooses for the good exit with DRS there. Overtake down before RDS. Good move by Nick Evan. But he got himself a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. The first driver who did it there, so maybe he's a bit too ambitious. Because at this circuit, it's hard to score penalties. We have a lot of, we have seen a lot of circuits this season where it really rained, rained penalties and warnings. 
The Zen food is not one of them. How he wants to do it. Minafok was looking behind too much. He gave him too much room to, to do it. Or did he do it on purpose because he's on the faster tires there? I don't know. So Nick Evan now on the lucky number seven, but with a penalty. And I think if I look into this, Plankton is the second driver who scored it. again through Tarzan corner and now it's a move done by Matteo and Plankton doesn't want to give up on that one both on similar tires there Take Matteo again, he touched the grass a little bit. Tuari light in that corner. It's that banker, that lovely banker. There it is again, wheel to wheel to Tarzan. Still an advantage of Matteo. <laughs> Plankton is sitting down for it. It's his rival today. seen some lovely racing also in this division and it's a good race Sack two yellow flag, it's Kals the swag, the teammate from Milo, who had an incident there as well, and I think this will cost him his points for today. Lupatik who had a problem as well maybe he's still capable of scoring some points there Jake the fly also on 10 so let's see that's interesting to see Ooh, a bit of oversteer for Milo coming out of Audi yes, yes. and this would be the move he can do it now on the inside through Jan <laughs> Ari Leitendijk that's beautiful that's where the corner is designed for, to go wheel to wheel to that corner and look at the dive from Plankton. He will spun away. Oh, he saved it. Oh, that curb. He don't want to touch it to Tazen. And I think it's not a mistake by, for, for Milo because the dive was really late. I want to do a uh, good attempt. And he's luckily he could save it there. I never uh, managed to save it in that corner if I'm touching that curb on the inside. 
Oh, Lupatik spun away. Coming out of... Oh, that's a safety car, ladies and gentlemen. Can he get... Can he turn his car around? Or is his car broken or something? I don't know. He's not driving. He's only braking. But this uh, will be a, sa a very late safety car and Mabel is lucky that he was in front of the pit lane. But who's going to carry on? It's... who's going to do it? And Matteo. <laughs> oh, risky move, mate. Or maybe you will throw your podium away because you need to get... You need to uh, do something really g great if you want to keep drivers behind you with soft tires. With fresh soft tires. That would be a hard thing to do. But he decided to carry on like uh, Martijn did as well. Lupatik coming out of Hugenholz happen and then I think he spun or something don't know if it was an incident between two drivers it looked like he just spun away uphill and it caused a safety car the first one in this race and a very late one so we will have probably four laps four or five laps sprint race So interesting and I hope uh, this restart is going to be uh, a good one. Because at this stage in the race it's hard to concentrate at the end. Because they already had 30 laps you know? now I hope tires they need to uh, do a sprint race again. All those drivers behind each other that's yeah, it's going to be hectic. Let's see uh, how it works out on sand for today. And I think also cast the swag he needs to be fast if he wants to close in on this again. And save the car. We start at this lap yeah, they will close it. Easily, easily. And then uh, I think the safety car could be ready again. There it is, safety car in this lap, so cast the swag is just in time. He had some benefit that he could speed up until the safety car joins the, the pits again. But let's see, because now Matteo can decide the pace. Naval following it. When does Matteo will launch? When does he want to do it? He can go all the way to the racing line. And at that point he needs to step the throttle. Will he do it before Ari Leitendijk corner? Will he do it after it? Billy Rain, a severe collision with Nabel, this one is definitely not. There he goes, Matteo, with a good response of Nabel. Billy Rain was sleeping a little bit, so probably is getting passed by, by Nick Evan on this outside. Also Milo on the inside, by the way, beautifully. Oh, Martijn! Spunning away, and another yellow flag there. Well, the drivers are going well. Oh, 
Look at this. Plankton and Milo. Wheel to wheel to Schijflak. But Plankton into the sandbox. Still saved it. And now wheel to wheel <laughs> with Jake Fly as well. Look at this. Vodafone phone took the inside there. Awesome action again through all the SMV here. Yeah, I told you this will be a crazy, crazy ending. And Nabel will pass Matteo. Oh, he did go very deep. Billy on the inside there. I told uh, I told you, uh, Matteo, maybe it wasn't a good call. He was in third place and he is in third place again, but definitely not in the benefit of some tire advantage anymore. He needs three, three, not, three more laps after this one to keep them behind you. Say Plankton is involved in many duels. And he touches as well. Maybe with the fastest lap one, 10.172. Ooh, he never crossed that curb uh, actually. Nothing happened. This is for points. I do have to say it went all right that we start from the safety car. Martijn lost it. So unfortunate for him that uh, all the way at the end he lost it because he was in a good position for his first points today. P7 on this screen. <coughs> My apologies. Mate is still in the third place, by the way. <laughs> That's because uh, Milo and Nick Evan were battling each other. Mate still could carry on on the third place. And. I want to see from the leader what's going to happen over here. Because we want to see some penalties. Enable 5 seconds, Billy 5 seconds. Well, I knew that he already had 5 seconds for something at the beginning of the race. And that Nabel and Billy had a collision unnecessary under that safety car there. If that happened, then those other five seconds from Billy must... They are redeemed already. Milo overtaking Matteo, there it is. Looks like it's going to be a podium for Formula today again.
and at this point it's going for points last lap is counting and this is going for some points they must be have uh, some sweaty hands there yeah it's the rest train again guys but Nabo is going to cross the finishing line as first with an undeserved penalty he will be passed by Milo and also maybe Matteo there but I think that one uh, will be removed by the stewards and he's a uh, professional on P1 then second place look like how it's going to change over here because of the penalties and everybody has already finished except for the time. So a crazy ending of this race. And uh, for now Milo is, uh, is in, the, in the lead but uh, Nabel probably has like I said that undeserved penalty so professional P1 for him we will see how that goes stewards well says that we have a great team of stewards who do, who do these jobs today uh, in the weekend so no worries about it And then at that point there's a big chance. And that they will swap those cups. But for now this is the podium. Milo at first, Nabel at second, and Matteo at the third place. And then we are seeing Guelphi on the on the fourth place. Mila for P5, Billy Rain P6, Seven Jagerfly, Modo in the Ferrari, P8 Tim Revenge on P9, Nick Evan P10, Caster 11, Plankton 12, P13 Martijn, and then we had the EI Ryan. So disqualified for him and uh, didn't finish for Lupatik and Cal there and the fastest lap is scored by Nabel it's a 10.172 don't know if that one is a track record actually I will have a quick look for you guys of course the track record is a 1 10.449 10 last season for IFR Rowan so I think it is the quickest time here and a new record for Nabel on Zandvoort circuit and for now I'm going to to open up the press conference open up the showroom and yeah in I have to invite the, the podium guests at, at this stage I will tell them that maybe a few things can change because of those penalties but we cannot decide on this uh, at the moment because uh, yeah like I said there's a, a team of stewards who assess it and later on it will be settled and arranged let's invite them to our party and let's see who, who will join us today We are having Milo, Nabel, where are you over here? And then Matteo, of course. Matteo, Matteo, where are you? There he is. Add it. And there is Milo, joined the party at first. Yes, good evening. Yeah, you were already on the podium before, right? So the voice is shared to public, I guess. Yeah. 
All right. Well, congratulations on the podium. First, I want to say that yeah, maybe it could change the outcoming because yeah, for now you are in the lead and I have to uh, say congratulations for that. But it looked like that Nabo and Billy had uh, an undeserved penalty on their safety car. So maybe it can change some facts later. But on podium you are definitely. Yeah, how, uh, how was the race and how was the... Uh, how was it in your opinion? It was a crazy race and it looked very, uh, very solid. Yeah, it was really crazy. Uh, the qualifying went really bad. Um, started, I think, eight because my last lap was invalid. But then in the race, um, just kept around P6 after a crash, two places, and then uh, one point I made a mistake and I was out of DRS and I thought, uh, yeah, this is race over. But I managed to uh, get back in and then a uh, safety car came and uh, I could uh, still uh, end up on the podium, so very good race. Yeah, definitely you, you made your way back up front. I have a question about the uh, Constructor Championship, because if I'm looking uh, to the Constructors at the moment, I'm seeing Haas on second place on 190 points and ferrari on 205 so there's only 15 points between you guys do you are do you think you and kelsey swag still can earn this constructed cha championship title or is uh, second place enough for you guys yeah i definitely think it's very close and uh, exciting but um i don't know maybe we uh um we are a bit closer now i don't know but then uh, we could definitely win still four races i think so I think uh, I think after I think after this race you may be st yeah still a little bit the same. It, it it's like I said we should have a look after the weekend if the stewards yeah, uh, yeah review the cases and uh, if it's assessed then maybe we, we know more. But uh, yeah still everything can happen in those last three races. So uh, you definitely should aim for that constructor championship. Then uh, another question, and this goes about the ranking, because you were on the third place there. One point behind Nabel, who's on 170 points. I think Billy is maybe a step too far, but is your aim the second place this season? Yeah, maybe. I don't know how close it is to Billy, but I think it's a bit too much. But you never know, maybe he crashes. And, uh, but it also depends on uh, how the penalties are in this race. So, uh, I, uh, yeah, my goal is second, I think, yeah. All right, and then, uh, yeah, we have Hungary next, and at last, Brazil. Are those two tracks that, that you like, and you are capable of scoring podiums, or how do you feel about those those circuits? Yeah, I don't know, I uh, we will see. I, I think I can drive everywhere the same uh, amount of level, so doesn't really matter which trick for me. All right. So you don't have uh, preparations, you're really a man of everything. Yeah, a little bit, but uh, it's not that much. What's your favorite one then? Uh, Spa. Spa, we already had that one. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Well, Milo, definitely enjoy this podium. We will see how it goes after the weekend. But uh, I think you, uh, you will have a great weekend uh, with this in mind as well. And uh, yeah, you had a very solid race and I enjoyed it. I think the viewers enjoyed it as well. So thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. I enjoyed it too. Is Nabel in the party? I think he's not. I had a confirmation from Matteo. He had uh, another league race immediately after this one. So yeah, Milo, you are my only uh, my guest at the pre press conference today. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, to the viewers, I have to say, unfortunately, we had to stop the the, the first division, the top tier of the celerity. And, uh, yeah, recent weeks, it uh, the, the 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 attendance wasn't really spectacular anymore. I don't know why. There are a few drivers there that only like to drive when they are capable of uh, of of scoring points and be on the on the top uh, on the top list for, for for the drivers, and that that's not the case. And then they will stop racing for some reason. So. That division will totally be rearranged next season in the new game. Also, uh, in a new season, of course. So we will see how it goes. But yeah, probably we will have to say goodbye to many drivers there 
that are not motivated because we are thinking as crew the driver should drive always not even if you are low on the scoring board you should have some fun instead of uh, uh, yeah a real competition above it you know what i mean so uh, we will see but for now uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching we had a very great race today and uh, well, i want to wish you a very blessed weekend we will be back next week unfortunately not tonight anymore but back next week with the third division in action on hungary and then the second division is up on friday again at 90:30 Eastern european time so don't miss out on it for now uh, a very nice weekend and thank you milo for the answers as well no problem bye bye